this year, the nominee is a man who embodies the combination of entrepreneurial and technical skills, which have helped to give this country a truly world-class reputation in high-quality semiconductor design. In his final year at Liverpool University, he wrote a paper entitled Colour TV Theory and Practice. Working at a TV manufacturer, he was pursued for some years by Motorola, and he finally succumbed to the question, what colour do you want your Cortina 2000 GXL? He answered white with black upholstery, and his career at Motorola established him as a well-respected chip industry executive. He then became managing director of an innovative start-off company, European Silicon Structures. Now that's when he received an offer that changed his life and became the first step in establishing one of the UK's foremost electronic companies. He joined a team of 12 chip designers in a new company called Arm, which had been formed by Acorn Computer and Apple Computer. Arm was founded to establish a new microprocessor stand, and the company was built around the premise that it would license the t this technology to interested parties rather than make the devices. Our nominee has led Arm to its undisputed position as the world's leading IP semiconductor supplier. And today, he's still the emeritus chairman of the company. Our award nominee has also been very keen to share his wide experience and his knowledge, and has always played a very active part in strengthening the level of semiconductor research in Europe. To this end, he served as chairman of the Open Microprocessor Initiative Advisory Group, which advised on collaborative R&D activity within Europe. He's received an honorary doctorate from the University of Liverpool, where he's a visiting professor. He has honorary doctorates from Loughborough University and from the University of Essex. Despite all this, he's a very down-to-earth character who has never forgotten his roots, and his generosity has enabled Liverpool University to build new IT laboratories, which are, of course, benefiting the next generation of UK electronics engineers. He's received the Faraday Medal of the Institution of Engineering and Technology and decided to play his part in the future development of the electronics industry in the UK when he became an energetic and innovative president of the IET in 2006. He was knighted in the year 2002 in the New Year's Honours List for his services to the information technology industry. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great, great pleasure that I announce to you that our nominee for the 2007 Lifetime Achievement Award is Sir Robin Saxby. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be quick, but the truth is, it was actually Electronics Weekly that put me on the map. Could you put your hands up if you could read in the year 1972. Because I gave a talk called TV and Chips at the Royal Television Society, and these guys wrote it up, and that's when Motorola seduced me with the company car, and I've never looked back. So. I want to thank Electronics Weekly for the award. And by the way, it's a lifetime achievement award. I'm not like the Oscars. I intend to ski for at least another 40 years. OK? And I want to wish all of you who are younger great success and rock and roll and, and pick up one of these in a few years' time. Cheers. And Congratulations on winning the Lifetime Achievement Award. How does it feel? It feels great, but my life isn't over yet. What do you think these awards mean for the, for the industry as a whole? I think it's very important to recognise success, especially when you're struggling. And that's why I referred back to when I got noticed in 1972. So frankly, that's far more important than recognising me. And I think it's really good to encourage the startups, the innovation. I think awards mean a lot on the way to success. How will you be celebrating this evening? Well, I've got my wife here, which is nice, and uh, we're having a glass of wine, and, you know, it's good, and it's good for me to connect. I know a lot of people here that I haven't seen for a long time, so just a nice, relaxing evening with friends. Thanks well, for having me. Thank you very much. Okay,